Oh, hey, guys, welcome back. I did a thing. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't realize that we were going to start, the, start like, go right into the next episode, huh? You are uh, f seeing five seconds after the last episode ended because I accidentally activated the cutscene. Please, go on. Hey, Vise, I believe that's what we came here for. <laughs> Dakot's treasure. That's gotta be it. <laughs> now I can buy my ship. Wow, look, Vina. Look! That treasure chest is huge! Oh, yes, I see it. Do you think it's Captain Dakot's treasure? Who's there? Gee, I wonder who! Who's there yourself? <gasps> oh, Vise! It's Vise! Vise! Aika? Fina? You're both okay? Vise! This is my favorite. Ah! Oh, I'm so happy. You're alive! We raised enough money to buy a boat and we were gonna come looking for you! As soon as we got the treasure, of course. Vise, I'm so glad that you are alright. Aww. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm a little emotional right now. I'm just so happy. Point for both of them. I forgot Fina's reaction. I remembered Ika's. I forgot Fina's reaction. Point for both of them. All right, there's the points. Yeah, just... Uh. And look at Vi's face. He's uh, just so yeah. happy. They're all so happy right now. Is it just me or is Vi's blushing a little bit? He kind of is. Ika, Fina, I was so worried. I was going to buy a boat and look for you too. <laughs> well, look at you. On top of that, I didn't know that your partner was this, was the cute was the cutie that I met in Nasser. We're all together again! Uh, now what? Uh, yeah. <laughs> the cot had one last trial for us. Okay, now I will say this much. This is one of my favorite dungeons in the game, right? Yep. Admittedly, this is also one of my favorite boss fights. This boss fight's cool. Purple chin and... Red horn. <laughs> Brr. So yeah, like no more dungeon to go through. I actually get to fight the boss fight here. Yeah, and enjoy it, man. With a four-person party. That, oh, finally. That probably has some damage on them. All right, what do we got here? We what? got Sinistra and Destra. Which means uh, right and left. Mm-hmm. We got totems. One of them's red, one of them's, I believe... Purple. Purple. Fire and ice. Alright, yep, I thought so. Alright, so... Hmm. And we get a whopping nine energy to start with, which is pretty cool. Alright, so red and purple. What's effective against red? The most effective thing against red is purple and vice versa. Alright then, so in that case, um, here's what I'm gonna do. Um, Vise, you're going to stick with purple. That was it. Yep. I'm gonna test the waters a bit here. Um, let's go with an attack. Um, Aika, you're going to focus. So are you, Fina. And, oh, wait, before I do that. Let's have, um, yeah, that's purple, right? Yep. That she has on right now? Yes, it is. All right, let's stick with that. Fina. Fina has purple. red on right now. Yeah, let's stick with that. And you as well, Gilder. He has yellow right now. That's silver, green, red. Yeah. I'm going to have uh, Vise and Ika on uh, purple. I'm going to have Gilder and uh, Fina on red. If you say so. I don't exactly remember how this boss fight works, but I do remember it was really good. Oh, well, you're plinking away at the damage a little bit there. Ooh, not bad. He just immediately explodes. He doesn't self-destruct, he just explodes out of his mouth. Goodness. I guess you could say, like, there's an explosion in his mouth and all that pressure projects outward. Yeah. Like a gun! Yeah. Gilder should know all about that. And that, not that positioning really matters too much to the metagame in this, but one interesting thing is they do rotate around the arena, so whoever was next to... Sinestra before ends up next to Destra. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure that is a thing that, like, occurs. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We got 22 points at this, like, on, at this rate. You can set up a Lunar Blessing. That's what I was gonna do. But, um, let me actually... Ah, oh, you know, it kind of sucks to... Wait a second. Let me check something here. You also got Incrim. 
yeah, we can't use the Moonberry yet. I was hoping we could at least do something so we can get uh, Guild or something. Don't worry, we still have more time with Gilder. All right, after then. this dungeon. I, I know we do, but it would have been nice to have something for this dungeon. Yeah, I'm just, I just want to see it. All right, then. Here's what we're gonna do. Also, keep keep an eye on everybody's health because it's not great. Mm-hmm. Did you just use both in Crems on Vies? No. But now you have me. Now you have me. Uh... Yeah, may maybe you didn't, but I thought you did. So. No, I used one in Crem on uh, Gilder and one on Vies. Okay. Doing all these spells, doing all this, like, manipulation. Gilder, just shoot him. Okay. <laughs> Thought you'd never ask. What I like about Gilder is... So, so Drachma was old and world-weary, and he knew how a lot of things work. He was the elder of the group in that respect. Yeah. Um, but Gilder has been a air pirate all his life, and he knows the business. Yeah. Um, Drachma kind of tries to talk to people as little as possible. Gilder knows who all the wanted are. He has all the connections. He probably knows where most of the, like, big bounties are already. Yeah. Drogma is probably, like, more, po like, would be able to, like, like, uh, overpower Gilder in a straight-up fight. Whereas Gilder, he's smart enough to not engage in such a fight. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to say Gilder's street smart, and Drachma isn't, because they're both street smart in their own ways. Uh oh. Uh, I think you have some downs. You lost the girls. Yeah. Um, do we have any, yeah, rise items? Like Rizalon boxes or Rizon? We have Rizon crystals. It's not great, but might be worth a try. Uh, this run might be borked. I'm not gonna give up just yet. Yeah, no, fight the good fight. Here goes. All right, there we go. There we go. Anyway, if it's if it's any pressure, we do get to start over from the boss fight if we die. This should work. But I think we can still pull this one out of our hats. I have an idea. All right, we got lucky there. It's about time we got some luck on our side. They both lost the Lunar Blessing, though. Ugh. Ice Beard, you suck. Oh, Gilder. I mean, Ica. I mean, I can't tell who that is. Ooh, clutch dodge. Yep. Okay. You gotta get everybody's health back up. And I know exactly how to do it. Um, okay, these two are still hit with the, uh, with the Increm, so, because they managed to stay alive. Yeah. Um. Skull Shield will counter fit, defend and counter attack on yeah, but physical that's, attacks, but yeah, it won't but help against... Yeah, not the case here. So I'm just going to stick with a Cutlass Fury yeah. on Sinestra. Okay. Sinestra. You, Ika, let's use that newly acquired Sakrulin Crystal to put to good use. Oh no, it's a, it's only one. Oh yeah, I, th I thought that was a group heal. That's what I thought too. Um. Alright, you know what? No. I'm just going to go ahead and take a turn to full heal. A okay. Full a, a full turn to heal. We'll so, heal. Sacrum crystals all around. Oh no, it's Sacrum! Sacrum is the group heal. Okay. Okay, in that case, yes, I am going to use a Cutlass Fury. Against Sinestra. The girls are going to use the, uh... They're going to use the Sacrum crystal. They're each going to use the Sacrum crystal. Yes. Good. Let's try this! Oh, I'm glad I get so fast. <laughs> yeah, right? Much better. They kind of remind me of Muppets. 
like, not like the main Muppets, but like... I know who you're talking about. Like, those two uh, Muppets in the balcony, right? Oh, Styler and Waldorf. Yeah. They are a lot like that, too, actually. Yeah, because they have, like, that up curl in their mouth as, like, <laughs> like I was, that grumpy. I was also thinking, like, couldn't you see them in, like, the background of, like, Muppet Treasure Island or something like that? Oh, I could totally see that, yeah. Or or the um, Easter Island head from Night at the Museum. That, uh, hey, hey oh. Dum Dum. You bring me Gum Gum. <laughs> Did you ever see Night at the Museum 3? I did not. I didn't either. I hear it's good. I didn't really, really? like 2. Yeah, I hear it's better than 2, at least. Huh. Interesting. It, it's the last film that Robin Williams appeared in. Yeah. Sad as that may be. I know. May he rest in peace. Um, alright. So we're set up, we're healed, we have Incrums out, we have some Lunar Blessings out. I think you can start really wailing on the red guy trying to think. Let me actually check something real quick. Hmm. Alright, yeah, let's continue with the Cutlass Fury. Oh, do you want to try raising other things? I was just gonna say, Quika, I think, will work here. I'm gonna give this a shot. Yeah, go for it. Did you did you use drilling on the on the purple one? Yes. Okay. Cause drill uh, drilling uh, decreases all stats. Yeah. I don't know if that works on. Well, it works on some bosses and not on others. So we'll mm -hmm. see. It's good for an experiment. Yeah. All right. It was worth a shot. Yeah. Ooh, there we go. 1695. It's pretty good. Uh, still not as hot as this room right now. Yeah. For those of you guys who don't record, recording is a hot job. At least during the summer. Yeah, during the summer and you have a high-powered computer just giving off all this heat. I mean, I got... I, I got the PC and the television and the GameCube all running in here. We can't turn the fan on too high because you'll hear it. Plus, we're giving off all this hot air. <laughs> okay, other Sakram crystal. This is a good place for it. I mean, you could just throw magic at one of them. Either red or purple magic, depending. Oscar is deep in thought. I'm gonna try one more time. Okay. Let's try this! Let's try it. Don't try, do it. Do or do not, there is no try. There we go! I'm okay. glad we found those. Yeah, even without the special moves, Gilder's doing work on that guy. Yeah, seriously. Oh, I used Electri? Yeah. I thought I used Drill. That well, did some damage. I'll take it. Alright, one down. You kill my friend! Now feel death's cold embrace. We have no heat in here going to have to pay a million on firewood. Alright, now here's the interesting thing. I can either choose to stick with being defensive or just go all out. Because the purple on uh, on Vi's and uh, and uh, Gilder's weapons are actually mitigating his damage. Oh, that's true. Yeah, he's that's, taking less damage. Yeah, because, that's, why, uh, that's why Fina and uh, Ika went down so quickly to Tundra Blast because their weapons are red. Or no, 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 no. Uh, well, and their health was low. Well, no, it was actually, no, Vise and Ika are purple. Yeah. Drill, like, uh, uh, Gilder just happens to be pretty good. But they're resisting whatever color they're currently holding. Mm-hmm. I think I'm gonna go offensive here. Yeah, I go for I can, it. I think I can afford it. He got the Cutlass Fury ready. Uh, so change the red. 
There we go. You could also use Purple's other weakness and not have to get as weak yourself um, if you used green. You would be doing a little bit more damage than normal, and you wouldn't take any extra damage, but yeah, red will be faster. And I think since you have, since you outnumber him, fast is the way to go. And it doesn't really matter anymore because he's pretty much dead. This should finish him off. Boosh. All right, we kind of, we, we almost died on that one, but we did it. <laughs> we muddled through. And everyone's still alive. Let's get those sweet experience points. And some seeds. Ice, ice seal seed and a mage seed. Whew! We finally did it! Dakot, you really outdid yourself on this dungeon. That's a very fancy treasure chest you made. Huh. Let's see what the greatest air pirate of all, of all time has to offer. What? What's this? Oh, what the? Huh? A piece of paper and a single gold coin? Brave souls that come seeking my treasure, do not be discouraged. You already have the most valuable treasure in the world. Comrades, trust, and cooperation. Those are the only true treasures in this world. The cot. I don't believe this. That's it? No gems? No jewels? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that Dakot had such a great sense of humor. I haven't laughed this hard in a long time. <laughs> oh, a good laugh beats a bunch of gold any day. Well, this treasure has brought all us all back together. And friends are more important than any treasure. I understand that friends are important, but he could have at least threw in a little something for our trouble. First it was the lost city, and then it was Dakot's treasure. All these old legends haven't paid off one bit. <laughs> I'll bet the greatest air pirate of all time spent all the gold while he was still alive. You can't take it with you, you know. Some old bag of bones in his grave is laughing at us right now! We ran around like idiots the whole time and we're still poor! <laughs> and we got the Cots coin. That is valuable though. Yeah. Like the Cots coin itself. Oh, we did it. Well, there you go. We actually. We're all back together! Yeah, it's a victory anyway because we got our party back together. Mm hmm. Minus, Speaking of which! Minus one drachma. But plus one drachma because drachma is another. is a kind of coin. Oh yeah, so try the Sword of the Cot. Major improvement. Well, eight points of improvement. Well, not even. Sorry, I thought I, I thought I saw like 161 for a second there. Nah. But I mean, you know, it's a it, it's a sheer improvement. So. Mm-hmm. Just gonna see if we have anything else. Yeah, no, it's just. Um, we got everything else, right? Yeah. Go to super move. Uh, yes. Uh, let's go to Gilder. I guess that's why, like, you get the opportunity to, like, get moonberries from those, uh... Yeah, from, from random encounters. Random encounters, because they want you to have the opportunity to get everyone's yeah. abilities, you know? Yeah, especially the loopers. Alright, Gilder lets loose two handguns at the same time, damaging all enemies in a straight line. Gunslinger! So he can do the dual pistols thing, he just saves it for a special move. Mm-hmm. Um, All right, I believe that's it for now, right? Yeah, do you want to um, get us out of the dungeon and we can go a little bit more? Yeah, sounds good. Because we started this episode with the boss fight. Yep. Right now my timer says we've been recording for almost an hour, but that's because it's combined with last episode. All things considered. Uh-oh. The Monoceros. Ooh, I like how you said Valiant. it better. Yeah, Valiant flagship of, Cap of Admiral Ramirez. Admiral Ramirez, it's almost time. Everything is going according to plan. Hmm. Excellent. With the modifications to our engines, we were able to pass through the Skyrift. Our spies have reported that the Nasser fleet is guarding the Strait. 
Nasrat is defenseless. We can take the capital without destroying it, sir. I suppose we could. But I want Nasrat burned to the ground. As you wish, Admiral. Begin the attack on Nasrat. All vessels, full speed ahead. If I recall correctly, this is actually what we're going to be dealing with here. Yep, and they're able to pass through that with ease. I like Ramirez. He's kind of a prodigy. He's by far the youngest out of all of the... Uh, all of, of, all, of all the value in admirals, but, yeah. he's, but he is arguably the most dangerous. Yeah. Besides Galcian himself, and even then, like, this guy could give Galcian a run for his money. I mean, DeLoco's bloodthirsty, but he misses the forest for the trees. Exactly. You know, he, he makes like, stupid decisions. Mm -hmm. And, uh, we don't even need to, we don't even need to make a case for Alfonso. Yeah. Beleza is the most strategic. Like, she, like, she's probably as capable as Galcian and, um, Ramirez, but she also is arguably the most honorable. Yeah, she's also so, not a fighter, unlike the rest of them. Like, exactly. Like, she'll fight, but only when she really needs to. She prefers to... She prefers to find a way to work things out without violence. Yeah. Like, we don't generally see Belaze in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Or yeah, like, like she's... That. Like, she is a strategist and a cunning, uh... And, and kind of, like, probably the most con artist of, uh, the... Of the admirals. Yeah. She doesn't have to fight you. She'll, you know... That's cool. She'll defeat you before the fight even starts. Exactly. Quick. We're gonna have to find an inn and rest up. Yeah. Look at that sword! Well, I don't know if Nazrat's the safest place to go right now. Well, not like we have any other place to go. It's like a serrated blade, the, the sword of Dukat. Yeah. We have two of them, too. I wish they were all that easy. Hold on to that notion, Gilder. I'm so happy to have the gang back together. Yeah. Minus one grumpy old man. We're, yeah. we're, I gotta stop reminding ourselves about that. <laughs> yeah, it's just gonna make us sad. No kidding. Alright, what do we got here? We got more desert enemies, I'm guessing. Do you want to use uh, Gilder's special move just for the heck of it? I was just about to say. How much uh, do we need in order to use it? Uh, wait a second. I'm sure it's less than nine. It is exactly oh, nine. Oh, okay. Let's go for the middle one. Yeah, there. And hopefully they don't all move around too much. I know it's a straight line, but I don't know, like, how wide mm -hmm. it is. Ooh, baby. Wow. Oh, dang. <laughs> yeah, I think we can keep that one. I also love the fact that he said dance for me. Yeah. Like, interesting thing, too. Like, the guns that he used in that special move were different than the one he normally uses. Yeah, it's Though, not the like, one he has equipped. Yeah, the one he has right now is a is a pirate is a pirate grade flintlock pistol. The, the guns he used there just now were... They almost look like revolvers. They they, they look like they look like 357 Magnums. Huh. Uh, mag, like Magnum revolver pistols. Yeah. Which is fitting. Well, I guess if you're gonna fire that many times, you can't just have like a single shot pistol. Yeah. The thing is, like, I guess I would have preferred them to be more like single action armies because while 357 Magnums are really, really cool, you can't necessarily wield them with just one hand. They pack a punch! This is Gilder we're talking about. Point take! He's fine. Alright, so if I recall, yeah, we're gonna need to go back to Nasrad, right? Yeah. Um. Might have Ramirez coming up, though. Well, I'm gonna go rest up at the inn. Yeah. And, uh, we should be able to be. We should be good from there. Did it tell us where to actually go? Not really. It's uh, like uh, it, I'm just kind of assuming we need to go back to Nasrad. Yeah, it's the closest town and everything. As a matter of fact. Oh, look at this peaceful place that isn't in any danger whatsoever. The sky is a beautiful shade of red. I was hoping to find a bunch of gold so I could buy a big ship. <laughs> if we all work together, perhaps you s will still be able to buy one, Ika. 
Huh? Oh no, it's the plot! <laughs> oh dear. It's the Armada! How'd they get here? Yeah, so they thought the, like, rock reef and the heavy wind winds and stuff would protect their city. No. The Royal Palace! Looks like they were trying to make an example out of Nasser. Vice, if we just stand around, we're all dead. Head for the docks! I guess we're doing this, huh? <laughs> yeah, that rest you wanted, I don't think we're getting it. Yeah, we are not. It's kind of forcing us to go back anyway. We finally get together and it throws us right into a ruined city. Our ship! It's on fire! Fina! So, you are here. I said that a little bit more angrily than I meant to. Or a little more. Right, we, you didn't know it was Ramirez R at first. Ramirez is, like, cool. Yeah. I've been looking for you. <gasps> Ramirez! Hey. Fina, you know him? Did you lead this attack? Yes. From this day on, Nasser belongs to the Valuan Empire. And I will be taking you back to Valua. Surrender or you will all die. Vice, please do as he says. Fina? Please, you won't be able to defeat him. Not yet. Do as he says. What do you think, man? We'll never surrender. We'd rather die. As you wish. I would have spared you, but you leave me no choice. Yeah, I remember this. Versus Ramirez. Sixth Admiral of the Value in Armada. Die. Let's see what we got here. Alright, he is uh, silver in color. Mm hmm. So, super effective elements are. Uh, yellow. Just yellow. Just yellow. Alright. There you go. There. Ah. No. Sorry, there. I'm a little tr trigger happy here. Well, also, like, the screen is really red right now, so it's hard to see what color you even have equipped. Mm -hmm. Let's test the waters a bit. Okay. Uh, right now you have red on her. That's purple, blue, there you go. This might be a supposed to lose fight. Mm, you might be right. I'm willing to try it anyway. Okay. I'm just saying, like, maybe don't go crazy with the items. Right. One more? There you go. Let's try this! But yeah, it's good to heal up, give it, give it your all. Ooh. Doesn't mess around. Zero. You actually can damage him, though, at least. And you got 18 points if you want to do a Cutlass Fury or a Skull Shield. I'm going for a Skull Shield. Okay. We're gonna see what we're gonna see how that plays out. I'm doing some magic for Ika. Get her healed up. against the ancient pirate spirits. Look how cool this is! Yeah! Eternum! I forgot he had that! Very high chance of instant death. And there goes Gilder. So if you want, you can try throwing out Delta Shields. I think I might have to. Um, yeah, so he tricked us. If he had done a physical attack that turn, Skull Shield would have blocked it. Mm -hmm. Oh, we don't have enough for Rizellum. Alright, 
right, hang in there, everyone. Oh, what hit me? <laughs> it's a full heal, too, which is great. Arizona's good. Silver Eclipse. Of the dark moon. <laughs> what is he even doing? He stops time at a la eight, like he's like Aeon. He like goes into the silver dimension. Oh! Oh my God! He's so cool. Ika, it's fine. You got this. And and Gilder's just like, I did not sign up for this. I was just looking for a treasure, trying to escape my crazy girlfriend. And there's the Eternum. Yeah, Ramirez doesn't mess around. Yeah. If all six admirals were put in a hand-to-hand -hand fight, or weapon-to-weapon -weapon fight or whatever, Ramirez would definitely win. Now, next to Gaussian, that's more debatable, but considering that Ramirez has been operating directly on Gaussian's orders, like, he, he is Gaussian's ward. That's it, man. That's all we have. Oh, no. Rezon. This should work. Give it your all. Yep. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a force to lose, but... Yeah, or you can just surrender. Which we're not gonna do. Nah. I mean, I mean, when they ask you, I think you can choose to surrender, which I'm pretty cool how it's a... how it's a, um... force to lose situation, but... Darkness. It like, can it, let it, you it, not even fight if you want. Dark. Yeah, I, I did, like... I, I did... I am actually glad I chose not to surrender, because at the very least we can see what this guy yeah. is capable of, because this is ridiculous! This guy took this guy took training from Hit. <laughs> yeah, I guess he did. That's it. Yeah, he fights hard. No. How? Guys can't fight any longer. So it's nice of you to not actually kill us. Ramirez, why? Everything we've done, it's all gone. We lost our ship, we lost our friends, we found our friends again, and then we lost the moon crystals. Well done, Gaussian. Nasser was our only enemy with a navy. Now we rule the skies unopposed. Soon the whole world will bow before the might of Valua, and they will see me as their ruler. Yes, your highness. It is my understanding that the Silvite girl and those air pirates had the moon crystals in their possession when they were captured. Bring the girl and the crystals to me. As for those air pirates, I want them executed in Lower City. I want the people to witness their deaths. I will personally see to it that everything goes as you. Wait! Mother? I just, I just heard that our fleet destroyed Nasrad while it was defenseless. How could you? Why did you have to murder so many innocent, innocent people? I know that we are acquiring more lands, but if we use these brutal tactics, the people will rise and rebel against us. Please, we've made our point. Pull our troops out of Nasser. Silence, Enrique. It is Valua's des destiny to span across the world and bask in the glory of the Six Moons. How do you expect us to conquer the world without a little bloodshed? But Mother... How can you expect to inherit the throne of the Empire I worked so hard to build? You're too much of a coward. 
Remove yourself from my sight! Very well. So that's Enrique. And he's awesome, by the <laughs> way. And we're gonna soon see why. I hate Valua. It's always so dark and gloomy here. Yeah, especially when you're locked up in a jail cell. Valuans have no sense of hospitality. Hey guards, can we get some food in here? How about a drink or something? Back together just to be separated again in the same exact way. I can't believe we're back in Valua. I wonder when Vi I wonder where Vise and Fina are being held. Is this where the air pirate girl is being held? Yes, Admiral Vigoro. But sir, why does that concern you? Hey, don't worry about it. Now, run along and go make yourself useful somewhere else. Well, what do we have here? Nice legs and curves in all the right places. <laughs> well, I suppose I've seen better, but she's not too bad. Who are you? Are you always as crude? I am Vigoro, the toughest man in their armada. I'm surprised you haven't heard of me. The women I've been with love to brag. I've never heard of you before in my life. Where are Vise and Fina being held? Ugh, what a creep. <laughs> Guys, this is serious. Get away from me, you creep! You're all sweaty and you've got a serious body hair problem! And what's that smell? Aw, oh, come on, Red. You know I'm the man of your dreams. We were meant to be together. I'm sure you'll grow to like me. Just give me a chance. <laughs> Yuck, you're disgusting! Yeah. They play it for laughs, but that's that that's some serious that's some serious bad, Sega. This is shaping up to be a great day. Let's see. So far we got captured, separated from Ike and Fina, and we lost all the crystals. What's next? Maybe they'll torture us. Perfect end to a perfect day. Vise, you're only making things worse. Take it easy. Huh? Aw, oh, good boy. <laughs> oh, Willy, how are you doing? Very bad, very bad. <laughs> Is that so? Well, you had to fly all the way over here. I'm not surprised. Gilder, there's a note tied to Willie's leg in a pe with a piece of wire. We will begin bombarding the fortress at midnight, and we'll await your arrival just outside. The Claudia. <laughs> this isn't the first time my men have had to break in, break me out of prison. They know the routine. Well, the Claudia may not be able to destroy the Grand Fortress by herself, but she'll cause a bit of a commotion. That's when we can make our escape. Exactly. But... There's still one problem. We need to get out of this cell. Leave that to me. There was a wire around Willie's leg for a reason. I'll have this door open in no time. Of course! <laughs> Is there anything you can't do? What's this? What's wrong? There's some writing on the back of this letter. Oh? Well, what does it say? To my darling Gilder, I will fight for your freedom as well, for you, my love. <laughs> your soulmate, Clara. And there's lipstick marks at the bottom. Clara? She's here too? Well, according to this letter, yeah. Hey, Vise. We don't really need to break out of here, do we? What are you talking about? We'll be hanged. Hmm. Being hanged, being stuck with Clara. Tough choice. Uh, oh well. Wow, I'm impressed. Willie, tell the men to wait for me with a barrel of La Croix. I think I'm gonna need it. Aye aye. This is why Gilder's awesome! He's... <laughs> See, he's never without a plan. Well then, I'll go grab our weapons. Let's go. <laughs> Let's not forget about Ika and Fina. I'm not leaving without them. 
like, Gilder... Gilder's crew doesn't get a lot of screen time, but they are MVPs because they're just, like... they. Gilder must be in and out of trouble so much that they just know, like... They, oh, they, oh, he's in jail. Let's do um, jail escape plan number three. I think that's kind of the reason why they are so... Like, why he's so resourceful, because he's been through it all. Yeah. Yeah, and he has backup plans upon backup plans. Hey, that sounded like Ika. I think we can meet up with Ika and then uh, we can call it an episode. Um, I think well, we we're going to go right into something when we meet up with Ika, so I think we should call it right about here. Ah, uh, you might be right. Um, all right. All right, then. I'm so, the Comic Foil. I'm the Green Scorpion. And, uh, yeah, we got to save Ika. I'm worried for her. I'm Let, very worried for her. Let's do it. And I... Yeah, no. Do, do we have any reason to worry? Let's hurry up. Let's hurry this up, shall we? Okay. Uh, quickly watch the next episode. As soon as you can. We gotta get her out of here. You need to upload it as fast as you can. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying! <laughs>